Hello guys, welcome to Jujube Designs. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to use the grid tool in Pixel Lab. Yeah, the grid tool is, uh, is a set of lines, vertical and horizontal lines to help in your alignment in any work you do, be it a logo or a flyer or anything you want to do in Pixel Lab. The, the grid tool helps you in alignment. So, for us who don't know the grid tool, this is the grid tool location so when you click on the grid tool button this is what it's going to show you now some a lot of designers have difficulties in alignment and some of us don't know the features of this grid tool so i'll be explaining the grid tool and the features in this video kindly like subscribe share and comment and if you are watching this video and you haven't subscribed this is your time to subscribe because this video is going to um show you the secrets in pixel lab and this grid tool is going to help your design 100% so let's get to the video now so firstly when you open your pixel lab um, this is what it's going to show you and um, the grid tool is at this location so when you click on the grid tool it's going to show you this a lot of people don't know that there is more to it than just this so beneath the grid tool now you can see two buttons here the, the um the two buttons the magnetic button and the grid tool settings buttons so let's click on the grid tool settings buttons first and it's going to show you a variety of some things i'm going to be explaining now the first one is um this the grid tool button this one is to add um more grid so this is to add more grid vertically if you can see let me change the background to a visible background so you can understand what I'm talking about mm, let me use this and let me delete the text so this is to add grid vertically if you can see more grid more grid more grid more grid vertically and um this is to add add more grid horizontally let me show you this is the second one I'm sorry this this is to add more grids horizontally so you can see how I'm adding more grids horizontally and vertically now while um the third one this is to remove um the vertical lines vertical grids now I have no vertical grids and this is the second one also is to remove more vertical lines so now this one is to show you the position at which you want your grid to be so if I put it on 50 automatically the grid comes to this place so let me just um, show you how to use the grid tool now so when I click on the grid tool I go to this button that's the reset button and the grid tool and let me just click a number of grid lines I want let me click 20 and um, 20 so this is what is going to show you now you don't want to click anything the next thing you want to do is just click on the magnetic button that's um, this one yes you just want to click on the magnetic button and um, after doing that you click on the grid line back that's this button so I'm um, sorry yeah so after you click on that now you can remove it and put it so now let me show you how the grid tool works now let me just bring a shape this is a shape and um, I want to copy the shape okay let me reduce it to this button to this side um, what's the size of this 30 by 30 so let me reduce this to 32 now what's this if you can see you if you look closely you'll see some red lines that is what the grid tool is all about so imagine now I want to align these two together I put one here so and I want to put one here without stressing myself if you can see it now look let me zoom it for you they are aligned and they are in the same um, 
line of position so alignment is almost solved now with um, the grid tool button so now anywhere I put it if I put it here and I want to bring this line here this will be there simple as that so if I bring this down now and I want to bring this down to come and meet it it's always at the same line without no stress so that's one part of the grid tool and um, a very amazing feature of the grid tool in pixel lab so um, let's continue now let me use a text now you know it's a machine and um, the grid tool is 95 percent correct most time in alignment in um, a shape tool but if i want to add a text let me just give an example of a text mega and i change the font Just, let me just use the font to monster bold. Okay, so now this is the mega button. Okay, so now let me let's let's let me take it slow. Let me go back to the grid settings. If you can see now, if I can click on the relative position, this is 50. I'm sorry, um, the relative um, position here. Yeah. So if I want to add more grids now to this grid, I can easily click on the plus button click on this and direct it to where I want it to go so let me just leave it at 50 so and I click on this again the down one and I click on the position and I move it also to 50 so now the both of them are in the middle so I disable the picture of the grid setting so now if you can look closely you see the middle part of the grid yeah so this is the part of the grid that shows 50 50 so let's continue so with this now I've gotten the perfect middle for what I want to achieve so now the grid is in the middle let me now add another font let me show you uh, something about the spray tool that you just have to perfect it in the text parts with your own uh, sense of looking at it to see if it's correct or not so let me just click on something like technology and devices so oh sorry so I've clicked on it now let me change the font also So and I want and I want the two lines to be like on the same symmetrical line like I uh, sorry. Let's I put this here and I want to put this here to let everything be aligned. This is the way it's going to be if you can see it. Let me zoom it for you to see. Um, it's not all aligned. So what you can do now with this help of the grid, you can just use the grid as a guideline to bring it back bring it back bring it back till look at this line now you click on it they are all aligned together now so that's one part of the text you can just do but the grid tool is very amazing and it's a very good feature so thank you thank you I hope you've learned a lot now from this grid tool button um, the grid tool feature in pixel lab so kindly like subscribe share and comment if you found this video enjoyable or if you found the video helpful and um, if you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed, this is your right time to subscribe now. Thank you and have a nice day. See you in the next video.